check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. If it is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. And we're going through the wonderful perfume oils from Nuit Cobalt Designs. This is our second time featuring Nuit Cobalt Design on the channel. So in the description, you'll find our current top five favorites and also a layering video. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So for today we actually have two fragrances that I feel pull mostly masculine. So these are a little something for the boys I would say. Uh, would I wear it still? Yes. I'm not saying that I wouldn't. Um, but you know it's just it's just appeals more to the the male category I feel. It just leans uh, you know, masculine, and as we go through them, you might see why. <laughs> so first scent is Druid, and it's actually from the Attuning, uh, oh, the Grounding Scents Collection, sorry. It is an attuning blend to bring energies into harmonious balance with nature and all that is. In this blend, you will find ancient woods, verdant mosses, river stones, smoldering firewood, and deep red dragon's blood. If you've and not ever smelled red dragon's blood before i feel i have smelled it before um in wax candles and so for that reason i my nose it, it takes me to uh, a home scent a home type environment that uh, dragon's blood but i've learned to especially here with me cobalt i've learned to appreciate it in fragrances for certain really really nice Ooh, okay i uh, applied it right here right before the video so i could re re uh refoc not refocus <laughs> revisit this fragrance this opens you guys like you are in the middle of a forest there are pine trees all around you um you know it, it could be it could be uh, sticky muggy or it also could be uh, nice and cold uh, you know the, it doesn't really give me a weather um, it gives me a place it gives me a, a whole scene couple of scenes from a movie uh, from an entire franchise actually <laughs> this gives me like you're by the water's edge with a bonfire going um, you know I'm a, I'm a huge Twilight fan huge i'm a toy heart <laughs> i know that era is coming on but i still i still love it and so this puts me in forks for sure we are in forks if you know you know um you know twilight i really do attribute twilight and taylor swift <laughs> for getting me through nursing school way back when so um that is why it's, i just hold it really dear to me and this just takes me there it's like oh my gosh this is what I imagined it smelled like you know you can smell the earthiness you can smell just there's like a, a dark alluring factor uh, to this fragrance and it's just I am by the cliff's edge you know where um, Bella is about to jump into the water because it's the doing dangerous things it's the only way she can see Edward again so it's just whoa I'm surrounded by all of that all of that so uh, for for that reason, for the fact that it's just so in nature, it's just full of nature. I feel this scent. I think that it would go wonderful with all of your, um, you know, your burning scents. Like your, what is that scent that every, Mason Margiel is by the fireplace. A lot of people really really enjoy that one more so the males than the females, and um, I think it would blend beautifully, especially if you want to pick out that. Oh, that smoldering firewood that is in here however I feel like it's blended so nicely that it doesn't really offend offend my senses I can tolerate that that you know burning wood type smell oh yeah <laughs> um, maybe it's the the red dragon's blood here that kind of stops it from being too too smoky it's a beautiful blend so this combines well you guys with um before the rainbow and this is said to smell so so much and i did a wear test comparison actually to um gosh my mind is blank today uh, i don't own a full bottle of this that's why i can't uh joan malone's wood sage and sea salt it's not my uh, absolute favorite so i don't 
own a full bottle of that. But when I tried before the rainbow, I said, I can own this, no problem. Oh yes, it goes so wonderfully. If you are a fan of uh, Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, it just blends so nicely. So you know exactly what I'm talking about with this smell. Fineries Before the Rainbow, you can find this at Target for $17.99, I believe. The entire finery line is a steal. The auto perfumes are $27.99. They last an eternity. They did such a good job with the longevity of, the, of these affordable fragrances. So finery is uh, the Jo Malone uh, dupe and it is just beautiful. I, I had a great time when I wear tested that. Ooh, all right, so not for me, uh, 100. I wouldn't, you know, I would put this in, in the back on the back burner to purchase a full bottle of i would probably prioritize something else for my own personal taste but if you have a taste like this then oh this is good this is dark you know leans uh, on the masculine side because i'm saying uh you know m the men are usually the ones who like those deep deep ancient woods and and smoldering firewood type scents um the river stones, I guess, are here too. It's just really earthy and realistic, you know, two forks. <laughs> All right, so that was the first scent. Second scent we have is Rogue's Cabaret. Now, Rogue's Cabaret is actually part of the Nui's Favorite Things collection. So, Rogue's Cab Cabaret is right here. It took me all of two seconds. It took me back. The minute that I smelled this, I knew exactly what it smelled like. And it smelled like, again, <laughs> nursing school. Uh, well, not really. It smelled like 2002, which was like right, I'm going to age myself here, but it was like right after high school. <laughs> so 2002 to 2004 or so, you know, who hasn't dabbled in a little this or a little that? Let me tell you, Rogue's Cabaret. Um, on the site, it says, from Rocky Horror to the Goth Club Go-Go Box, some of my most joyful moments have been spent in the spotlight of Den's of Inquiry, a scintillating scent for secret shenanigans. So it's a dark, dark scent. We have top notes of plum, wine, clove bud, uh, heart notes of Ceylon cinnamon, and uh, base, no, we're not at the base yet, vanilla infused pipe tobacco and then base of black agar wood and styrax. If you are a fan of the tobaccos, of the dark smoky scents, but you also like a little, this smells very niche to me. I mean niche, like like you can make an eau de perfume out of this and it would just sell so well. <laughs> There's probably something out there like this but that I'm not familiar with. If you're familiar, with something like this, let me know. Uh, but this opens up plum and wine for certain. So sweet, so delectable. You just want to drink it. Oh, or you want it to be like a can I just spilled it everywhere. You want it to be like a candy that you can just bite into, oh, but it doesn't stay like that. Oh, the cinnamon of this house, you guys, is I cannot normally handle a, a cinnamon or enjoy a cinnamon fragrance and Nui Cobalt Designs' the cinnamon is something to be reckoned with. It is, it is just a beautiful blend, a beautiful accord that they have going on here. It always reminds me of a baker spice versus your spicy, spicy cinnamon that can really offend some people's nostrils. Ooh, bad start. Oh, okay. So I really slathered this on at the beginning when I I smelled that sweetness I smelled that it smelled so edible and gourmand to me but I was like okay but where there's tobacco in here and there's there's clove bud so that's probably gonna kick in soon and kick in it did this kicked in so hard and uh, like I said it took me it took me the minute I smelled this I was I was dibble dabbling here in none other than Relax. <laughs> um, this took me down a little bit of a rabbit hole, you guys. If you're familiar with these, um, they there was actually a federal law that was passed in 2009. I am not. I have never been, uh, you know, in the past a smoker. I never will be. Um, but like I said, it it smelled this particular 
clove bud cigarette smelled so good and so sweet that I just have wanted to try it a couple of times like I want to try that it smells so good so it makes perfect sense to me why these were taken off the U.S. market in 2009 when it was made illegal to carry cigarettes that contain uh, flavors other than menthol um, why? Because they were very appealing to the younger generations. They were very appealing to children and teenagers and, you know, because it smelled so edible. <laughs> like, hey, I want to try that. So, um, yeah, I was had. I was had. Uh, but luckily, I, it's not anything that I picked up long term or, you know, yeah. <laughs> Nothing against anyone who enjoys that or even people who enjoy uh, to sit down with a glass of wine and a cigar, you know, at, at the end of a long, hard day or to celebrate. I know a lot of people do that around uh, New Year's Eve and things like that. Um, so anyways, now in order to purchase these and experience this, uh, you know, vanilla flavor, uh, clove bud type, uh, you know, cigarette, it's a cigar now so they're made a little bit bigger and they're wrapped in tobacco leaf so the ones that are wrapped in paper that come in like packs of 20 are illegal to sell and to purchase here in the u.s uh, but the ones with i believe they come in packs of 12 no more than 16 uh, cigars that are wrapped in tobacco leaf uh, those are are definitely available and so yeah that's the rabbit hole i fell down after smelling this <laughs> so so interesting it's not offensive to my nose but you know it's not something that i want to smell like even though it's something that i just want to smell it you know it's just i want to pick it up and smell it <laughs> or even just put it here and, and be smelling it because it's it's so i don't know what it is it's just alluring to me but i don't want to smell like it not me not personally not you know all over and go out you know to an event and rock it it's not that type of a fragrance for me however it would probably be really good on uh, for some of y'all anyone who likes to to rock this type of scent now combining rogues cabaret with druid there's charlie we're getting ready for a cookout <laughs> um combining rogues cabaret with druid would be so so good uh because they just complement each other they really do you have the the nature you have the smoldering wood and all that and then you over here have the um you know black agar wood and the pipe tobacco very very nice <laughs> so i even though these are not fragrances that i will be looking to purchase i just feel like they're so artistic and they were very much worth talking about um i like to explore i like to to you know picture myself wearing these things even when they don't fly i still like to come on here and tell you guys how they how they smell because everyone has different tastes so it would not be fair for me to just uh, talk about the ones that were a go <laughs> all right so that was it for today we got through two fragrances um you know i did and i didn't go super on because i only wore them for a few hours each but I would imagine that these would last a long day, a long day, at, you know, all day is what I'm saying. Yeah, because they're really strong fragrances, both of them. <laughs> okay, guys, that was it. I hope that everyone's having a great uh, week, a great day. And we will be back with another Nui Cobalt Designs oil. I'm just, uh, we're not done exploring these. I will probably be throwing out their uh, suggestions for our next house. I know uh, we've been talking about a mouage in the comments a lot. So I'm really looking forward to grabbing a few of those actually. I might just do that. I might just do that. But if anyone has anything they'd like for me to go over, I know I've had a couple of requests for genre fragrances. Um, for example, their Jo Malone Ginger Biscuit Dupe. I have it. I haven't done a full day wear test. Um, so I, I might just do that and I have like maybe six or seven genre fragrances also that I haven't done a review on. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep this going. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day, your night or your evening and you stay safe.